So episode four and final episode. This one is all about worst case scenario. Everything else has been about preventation. This one is if accident actually happens, which we hope it doesn't. We're gonna do a little search and rescue exercise. Below here, we actually have an avalanche from before. If we did everything by the book here, we would all be standing here in a nice safe lookout point and we'd be following our friend, our ski all the way down and have a bit of an idea where you could have ended up. Obviously you gotta do stuff pretty quick. Someone's gotta take command straight away. First things first, assert a leader. Make someone get the phone ready, call rescue. Before you trip and before you even go out to the backcountry, get all those numbers ready. Whoever isn't calling should turn off all their electronics, all their phones and all that because that could be interfering with the signal. Everyone else in the group turn their beacon on to search mode so they're not on send. So you don't want to obviously trigger another avalanche. In order to get into this terrain, I would go along this ridge line here and I would nip in from the side and go into the debris and then start my search. All right, this is the edge of the, the debris. I'll go again to this side. Nothing yet, nothing yet. Let's see, let's see. Nice and slow. Still nothing. Oh, got a signal. All right, so we got pointing me this way. 19. We're getting closer. It's around 10. All right, I'm going to strap off. And now we're going to begin my search. I'm going to keep it nice and low. So you can see, picking up a signal there. And it's pointing this way, so I keep it as low as possible. Go really slow. Now it's really like picking up. So now like, now I'm pretty certain it's gonna be right here. So I lost the signal, I'll do my little cross. So that was closer there. I lost it again. All right, yeah. Back down so we can pinpoint this thing. So I think it's somewhere, somewhere there. So I'm gonna get my, Get my probe ready. You gotta know exactly where you have your probe. So you gotta be super quick. I know I've got it in here. What's really important, you wanna do it perpendicular. A bit of a golden rule is to spiral inwards, 25 centimeters distance between everything, closer and closer until you get a hit. All right, I think I got something. Oh yeah, there we go. So now I'll begin my digging. You leave your probe in, so you know that's around the area where could possibly be. So you see where the probe is, you'll have to go down a little bit. There's a lot of snow and you're obviously digging into the mountain. So if this probe shows maybe a meter deepness, I would probably dig a meter and a half, two meters underneath it. Because you gotta have to move a lot of snow, you're digging out a person. So you're gonna need a lot of space. Obviously you could be badly hurt, so you want a lot of space to be able to hopefully first aid and have a wide environment to help your fellow out. So you don't want to dig like twice. Rescuing people in avalanches, every single second counts. The more you practice, the faster you're gonna be. So we motivate you to take safety courses and practice everything that we taught you throughout this series. So to everyone out there, make smart decisions, but have fun at the same time. To me and I'm, I guess everyone else, we started it because it's just so damn fun. So it's all about just getting out there, you being in the moment and just having the best time with your friends.